Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Out here on Lake Comadero in Mexico, staying at El Papasha Lodge. We're out here on the lake today, and we're gonna do some bass fishing. Going for some big giant bass. In the video you saw last time, I caught one that weighed six pounds, seven ounces. The one before that, six pounds, nine ounces. So this one, hoping to break that eight pound, maybe 10 pound mark. My PB is 9.63, so really shooting to beat that. Out here with my wife, Cody, and our guide, Jerry and her PB's right around six pounds, so uh, hopefully she gets her new PB as well. So we're gonna fish this afternoon, kind of midday here before lunch, see if we can get on some big fish. Sun just came up about an hour and a half ago, and uh, yeah, the video I pushed out before this was the morning bite this morning, so now we're doing kind of a mid-morning bite, see what they do when the sun comes up. But let's go catch some big ones. I'm going to throw this thing and lose it here in a few casts, but maybe catch a giant. How deep do you think we are out here? Out uh, here, maybe. 32? All right. Okay, guys, Cody's hooked up. Do you need him to grab it? What? I got it on the side or something. Oh, really? Yeah. I got a tilapia. Oh. No way. I've never seen one of these. I've never like held one. I want to check that out. I caught him on the butt. That's cool. Tilapia, guys. That's really cool. <laughs> Look at that. You did. You snagged him right there. Sorry. You want to hold a tilapia? No. Look at that. It's kind of pretty. Pretty fish. Yeah. You want him? No. Okay. <laughs> well, it's see you. not going to be able to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> yeah. Little guy. Must have been a little guy. Hooked up. Little guy. Bit it. Missed him. He came back for it. Got him. It's hard to hook these little ones on the first try with this wacky rig seven inch sink out. Pretty. That one's dark. Oh, there you go. That's a big one. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. That's a good one, though. Nice. There you go, babe. On the beaver. Two, two and a half. There you go. Yeah. It's a good one. There you go, but do you ever fish the other side of the lake? Like, oh, hooked up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, he's behind a tree. Let's go over there. Behind the tree. No. Gosh darn it. Dang. They like the shad colored crankbaits. Okay guys, we just broke off on a fish on the deep diver. Knew it was only a matter of time. And now we gotta put on this square bill. I didn't bring many crankbaits with me. I can only bring so much tackle. I thought I'd be throwing more swim bait type stuff, but they're not hitting that. I don't know why. Here we go, boy duck at square bill. Tilapia color. <laughs> or they, they have been before. Or and have, they don't before. get, oh, there's one. They don't get fished as much as the other parts no, of the lake. Oh, well, we should try that. Less fishing pressure, more fish. There's a little guy. Do the tilapia fishermen go over there too? Yeah. Yeah. yeah All right, guys, we're gonna move. Different part of the lake. 
see if we can get on some big ones. There. There you go. First cast at the new spot. And on the beaver. Huge one. I'm throwing the square bill. There you go. We need some bigger ones. Little guy. Bill dancing it, hooked up. Good one? Another little guy on the beave. <laughs> Trying to get him to spit it. <laughs> so you've caught too many of these little dinks. Another little guy. Double. Double. Yeah, grab it. There we go. Double Mexican bass. See ya, little guy. Okay, guys, we just dropped Cody off. Um, she's gonna take about an hour nap. It's been brutal fishing all day isn't easy on everybody um, But right now Jerry and I were out here. I got him fishing whatever rod he wants We're gonna try to find what these fish are eating We're in a totally different part of the lake than we've been in the last few days And yeah, we just ran over here something I found looked good on Google Earth and he, he liked the spot as well He said he's caught some big ones here. So we're gonna see if we can catch a few before lunchtime. Yeah <laughs> Hooked up, guys. Decent. Oh, bigger than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, decent. Three, three. There we go. All right, gracias. Thanks, Jerry. On the little shaky head. There you go, guys. Three pounder. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah, we'll take him for a picture. Oh, man, they shake hard here. Look at that. Okay, guys, that's why I caught the big one on yesterday. There's another three pounder. Beautiful. He's right next to that tree. Maybe these little, that's these deeper, the deeper bushes. Yeah. yeah if we can find some that are shaded, that'd be awesome. Some steep, steep rocks. Hooked up. Another one. There we go, guys. Little guy. Little guy's on this point. It's like the fifth bite. Second fish. Little finesse worm. It's hard to beat. Looking for the big ones. We're out here fishing way off this point. Out here deep, trying to find where the big ones are hiding. Thinking maybe they pull off on these flat points um, when they're not spawning during the, the mid part of the day. We haven't seen any up shallow really spawning. And the ones we've caught, the tails aren't bloody. So we're looking for the big ones right now. There's another one. Yep, got him. Another little one. See you, buddy. <laughs> That's fun. My worm's about shot, but I'm gonna keep throwing it out there. They'll eat it. Jerry's hooked up. Yep, little guy. There you go. Easy release. No bites. Hooked up. Yep. Little guy. So many little guys. Broke my worm. There it is. Just a little guy. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Another one on the shake, yeah, that's right. <laughs>
Okay guys, we just got back to the lodge. We had a fun day out there today. Got two videos for you all this morning. If you didn't see the previous video I posted on my channel, please go watch it. Subscribe for more videos. I caught a bigger one in the last video, but I caught that one that was about three and a half today um, on the shaky head. A ton of little fish. I don't know where the big ones are hiding. It's super hot for January. Um, temps are in the 80s and uh, about 50 to 60 degrees at night. It's just beautiful down here. I'm in the Palapa, that's what they call it. It's a little pavilion. And I uh, got jukebox, they got a bar, they got this is where we eat every day. But it's just awesome out here. If you guys ever want to book a trip to Mexico, I recommend El Papashal Lodge here on Lake Comadero. But yeah, had an awesome day out there. And we're going to hit them again tonight, so stay tuned for the next video coming out. We'll catch you guys next time on Fishing with Norby.